Hello, basketball fans, and welcome to tonight's contest between the Nicolet Blue Raiders and the Janesville Waldorf Pemberton Bulldogs. Tonight's NFHS broadcast is brought to you by Oliver Farm Drainage. Please contact John Oliver at 507-234-6769. Tilling, septic systems, backhoe and dirt work, and trucking. Once again, that's Oliver Farm Drainage of Janesville. Jace Emery here with you, and we got a little early start time tonight to avoid the weather. That is, uh, I have not been outside today, so I don't know what's going on out there, but for all I know, uh, we're going to have a few inches when I go uh, back to the parking lot later. So you have the best seat tonight. You know, normally I say being here live is the best thing you can do, but why risk it? Uh, you are where the action is. As the Bulldogs take on the Nicollet Blue Raiders. The Nicollet Blue Raiders coming into tonight's contest 5-8 and eight on the season. And the Bulldogs 8-8 eight and eight on the season. The Bulldogs on Saturday afternoon had a nice victory over USC 71-57. Nicollet had a victory over Emmanuel Lutheran last week. So both teams coming in on the heels of a victory. So we'll see which team can continue the winning streak tonight as the Nicollet Blue Raiders take on the Janesville Waldorf Pemberton Bulldogs. We're about 15 minutes and 30 seconds away from our starting lineups and national anthem, so plenty of time uh, to get situated, get what you need from the fridge, and we'll...
great. We are set. We'll get a fresh 18 on the clock. Once again, thank you for joining us <coughs> on this NFHS broadcast. Um, obviously, the, uh, the lack of a crowd tonight is due to the weather, so you're probably not the only ones at home. Oh, stolen right away, right away by the Raiders. All right. Uh, the one, a very small lineup for the Raiders. Uh, it's just the way it goes sometimes. Their tallest player is six foot one inch, and that is a uh, that is a short ball club. Uh, but they have uh, some victories this season, nonetheless. So they have adapted to uh, what they have, and they've gotten some victories. In spite of it or despite of it, one of the two. And that's Hulky over to Bodie. And it's going to be stolen away by King. And King puts it up and in for two, and it's the Bulldogs who strike first. 2 0, our score. Three-pointer is up, and it's off. Rebound, Chulstead. Janicki over to Eustace. Back to Janicki. Oh, and jumped out, and oh, right, we had some people coming in, and uh, they got up close and personal with the action in a heartbeat. Gannon to inbound in front of the student section. Oh, quick pass over to Eustace. Eustace for three. Oh, it grazes the front iron. And Hulky heading the other way for the Raiders. King providing the pressure. Missile pass. Jump shot for two. It's going to be short. Rebound, Chulstead. And that's where the size advantage is coming into play for the Bulldogs is on the boards. And foul is called. And Anthony Macias will be coming in. Macias, the tallest member of this Raiders roster at six foot one. Free throw is up for Chulstead. It's in. And here comes the second. And it is also in 4-0, our score early on in the first half. One other interesting note about this Nicollet Ball Club, they do not have a senior on the roster. It is all sophomores and juniors, and a couple freshmen as well. Gannon, inside drive. And Eustace puts it up and in for two. Six to two, our score. Whoa, wild pass. Macias with the handle. Oh, nice. Oh, fancy, fancy play there by the Raiders. And that's number 22, Thompson putting it in. And Macias, oh, for three. Oh, drains it. And Nicollet jumps ahead with a one-point lead, seven to six. You know, for whatever reason, Nicollet has had a tough time getting height on uh, their girls' teams and their boys' teams. The... Um, the junior high girls teams we've played uh, in recent years have been quite small as well. Macias down low. Oh, switches the shot in air. Gannon the rebound. 
And it's Janicki heading the other way. Bodie will come in next dead ball. Down low to Chulstead. And Chulstead puts it in for two. And the Bulldogs reclaim the lead, 8-7. to seven. Macias. And they're passing it around. Back to Thompson. Double team being used by the Bulldogs. So there's two, uh, there's two Bodies on this team. Oh, down court, it's King. And King dribbles it off uh, his foot, and it's going to go to the Raiders. And our clock's a little off, so we're going to let it run. 13.59 to go, first half action. Oh, to Macias, and maybe a little too fancy that time by the Raiders. Once again, we'd like to thank all of you for joining us tonight and probably a lot of you joining in the future who are uh, watching the rebroadcast with the weather conditions. Uh, certainly it cut into the crowd tonight. That's why they moved the time of the game up. To Gannon. Gannon thought about it. Oh, stolen away. Errant pass that time by Gannon. Oh, it's off his head. And they're going to call over and back. In a Janicki, Janicki across center court. Gannon for three. It uh, might have been tipped. Eustace the board, it's off. Big rebound by Bodie. There's Dustin Bodie and Ben Bodie. A scrum for it. And Burley is coming in in favor of Gannon. Gannon not happy with himself over that last turnover. He's got to put it in the pass. Thompson inbounding. Gets it into Ben Bodie. Back to Thompson. Missile pass in the corner and too much mustard on it. It's a turnover heading back to the Bulldogs. Eustace will inbound. Gets it into Janicki. Burley fakes. No, oh, nice fake there by Janicki. Janicki puts it up for two and it's in. Bulldogs are the first to 10. 10 to 7 in favor of JWP. Baseline, oh, between the legs. Nicklet slow to react. King heading the other way. I don't know what they're doing. And that'll be a foul. <laughs> Carter Quas coming in next dead ball for the Bulldogs. Or after the first free throw, excuse me. Free throw is up and in. And King's second free throw is up. Off the front iron. Rebound Raiders. <laughs> Foul is called. Foul is on King. That is the first team foul by the Bulldogs. Quast has entered. Good. Bullet passes by these Raiders. Oh, nice hook shot there by Macias. And timeout is called. All right. During this time, we'd like to talk about some of our local sponsors. Dane's Body Works, your full-service auto body and glass shop. They work with all insurance providers. Auto buyer and seller. Don't forget about motorhome rentals. Once again, that's Dane's Body Works. 507-995-9856. Dane's Body Works, they've been great. 
since 1988. Lynch and Sons Farm Drainage of Janesville, 507-327-6833. Crystal Valley, for all your agronomy, grain, feed, petroleum, and propane needs. Your local co-op since 1927, www.crystalvalley.coop. And we are back. Yep. We are back. And it's Janicki over to Eustace. Back to Eustace. He'll sell. Oh, he's fakes it. Out to Janicki. Janicki for three. It's off. Rebound, Macias. Macias, once again, the only member of the Nicollet Ball Club over six feet tall. Oh, fancy pass to Macias. Can't finish. Gets his own board. Blocked by Janicki, but then there's a foul. I'm not sure if it's on Janicki or not. It's going to be called on Burley, I believe. Or is it? Yes, it is on Burley. So the block by Janicki was fine. It was the second connection by Burley where the foul was called. And Macias' second free throw is up, and it's off. And Janicki barely saved it. Almost fell into the student section. Earlier tonight, the uh, JWP wrestlers were in action. I got to watch a little bit of that. So dual events tonight. And Burley... Yeah. Try, oh, Aaron pass. Oh, and he jumps into the second row. Nice leap there by Hulky, but... Uh, the Bulldogs are lucky to come away with the ball on that one. Gets it into Chelstead. Nice pass to Burley. Burley draws the contact, and he'll head to the line for two. And we'll correct the score. It should be 11-10. Bulldogs in the lead. Burley at the line for a pair. First one is up and in. Second free throw up. It is off. Over to Hulky. Nice. Oh, tipped away by Janicki. No. Uh, never mind, it was not. It was, uh, it was off the Raider. So Bulldog basketball. Back to Janicki. And over to Eustace. Passing it around are the Bulldogs. Nicollet basketball. King will return for the Bulldogs. Whoop. And a little confusion at the booth. A couple of the Bulldogs uh, came in a little late. But everything's back and ready to go. Fiesel, uh, that, that is Andrew Fiesel, who came in for the Bulldogs. Michael listed on the roster as well now. Macias is too, and hey, Macias is doing a great job. He's only six foot one, but he's uh, he's uh, playing the post position well. And Janicki can't get either to fall. It's going to stay with the Bulldogs. Burley will inbound. Gets it in. Oh, nice. Oh, Janicki can't finish. Quast the putback, though. Nice recognition there by Quast for the quick two. Hulky back over to Thompson. 
Nice pass. Oh, stolen away by the Bulldogs. And he draws the foul. Switching my headset here. Something felt a little off about it, so. Stolen away. Quast. Oh, he traveled. Drug the foot. Uh, number 24, Dustin Bodie, returning for the Raiders. 16 to 12, with a little under nine minutes to go in the first half. Over to Macias. Back to Hulky. Oh, and King with the steal. And I missed what happened, but uh, King in obvious pain. I was looking at the hoop where I thought King was going to take it all the way in. I didn't see, I didn't catch what happened, but. We hope King is okay. And draws the foul. And Janicki will get a free throw, trying to complete uh, the old-fashioned three-point play. Three for, uh, free throw is up, and it is good, 19-12 to 12 in favor of the Bulldogs. Oh, wow. Wild pass. Ends up near the scorer's booth. And Eustace will inbound right in front of us into Burley. Chelstead back to Eustace. Eustace fakes. No basket. Three in the key is the call. 8.04 to go. First half action. 19 12 Bulldogs. And Hulky coming down. Over to Macias. Three is up. Oh, misses everything, but good awareness there by Thompson, or excuse me, Clark, uh, Hulk. And it's in for Hulky, excuse me, Hulky. And he's going to quest head to the line for two. Quast free throw is in. Stolen away by Chelstead. Oh, can't finish the layup. And Eustace regains his composure and puts it in. Had three uh, Raiders on him. 22-14, oh, nice. Nice fakes there by the Raiders here. Macias with the ball. 
Hulky for three. Oh, nothing but net for Hulky. 22-17 our score. King is going to return, so obviously not feeling the effects of the end. Oh, nice behind the back dribble. Beautiful play by Macias. That might be one of the best plays we've seen all year. Oh, nice pass to Quast, and Quast finishes. Gannon with the nice pass, and Quast finished what Gannon started. Yes, and the bucket. Basket is good. And Chatterton will head to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Gannon and Burley heading to the bench. It's off. Rebound, Shulstead. Nice put in there by Janicki. And it's off. Janicki will stay with the Raiders. Number 14, Ben Bodie coming in for Dustin Bodie. I am guessing uh, brothers, well... Yeah, probably brothers. They're both juniors, so maybe twins. Shooting foul is the call. Or no, it, I thought I said, I thought I heard two shots, but um, must have been changed. And boy, that ball was anyone's for the taking. I don't know why they didn't go for it. Stolen away by Eustace. Nice put in there by Eustace after the great pass by King. 28-21. Looks like a football score right now. Macias back to Hulky. Oh, what, oh boy. Hard to call it. Oh, nothing but net again for Hulky. Timeout is called, and this is a four-point game. You know, every time the Bulldogs get it to about seven or eight, it's the Raiders who come right back. Thursday night, January the 26th, is Parents' Night. The Bulldogs taking on Fairbow Bethlehem Academy. That's a 7.15 tip time. So a little earlier than normal because of the Parents' Night festivities. So uh, Parents' Night, obviously that one is normally well attended. So uh, we certainly hope you join us in Parents' Night as the Fairwell Bethlehem Academy Cardinals come in to play our Bulldogs. And then uh, after that, we have a couple road games followed by the Conference Showcase. Uh, seeds to be determined, home games to be determined. So check the... Um, Check the website, as they say, on that. 4.55 to go. First half. Bulldogs 28, Raiders 24. Eustace. Tipped out, and Eustace the board. Fiesel of Janicki. King for three, it's in. Oh, not again. Oh, Hulky hits another one. Boy, that's three in a row. He doesn't miss. Hulky's a marksman out there. He's a marksman. King will call. Oh, and it's back to back to back three pointers. Oh, boy. 
These Raiders like that alley-oop layup. Uh, that one was not successful, though. Fiesel will try his hand at the three. Oh, and it's in. Five consecutive possessions with a three-pointer. Or five consecutive baskets. That Oh, Hulky again. That one's off. Boy, if he would have made that one. Long two. It's off. Tip rebound. Eustace secures it. And believe it or not, it's a 10-point game. And that's something other than a two there by Janicki. He puts it in. 39 to 27 Bulldogs. You can't leave Hulky open. Oh, it jumped on a nice. And Chelstead puts it in. Timeout called by the Bulldogs. All right. It's not in season right now, but you know the best place to go in the spring and summer the Dairy Queen in Janesville. Wisty's Meat Market. Uh, North Main Street, one of the best meat places you'll find in southern Minnesota, guaranteed. Check for the daily specials as well as the Sunday free press special. So get yourself a free press. And uh, they usually have some good coupons for Wisty's Meat Market. Speaking of Wisties, we can't forget about Wisties Concrete and Edging. Wisties.com, 507-420-0997. Please contact Tanner Bartnecht of Wisties Concrete and Edging. DuPont Pioneer, please contact either Lane Janicki or Scott Roth, 507-838-5555. Double A King Construction, roofing, siding, windows, and remodeling. Uh, please contact Aaron King, 507 231 4648. Once again, that's Double A King Construction. Inches and yards ahead of the competition. I've heard great things about the construction work done by uh, King Construction. And uh, I saw that they were working in the old laundromat in Janesville when I stepped into the post office just yesterday. So we'll see what's, what they do there. I'm sure it'll be quality work, no doubt. Now, even if you don't own a laundromat, they can do some uh, construction for you. Roofing, siding, windows, and remodeling. That just about covers it all. And the eighth team foul by the Nicollet Blue Raiders, and it's the bonus for the Bulldogs. So it's a one-and-one one the rest of the way. And Chelstead will be at the line for the front end of the one-and-one. One. Free throw up, it's off. Rebound, Hulky. Hulky's been hot as a firecracker as of late. Maybe cooled down with that last miss. But he's not afraid to fire it away. Over to Macias. Back to Hulky. Oh, bullet pass. Oh, boy. A wild one there. And the ball is somewhere in the abyss of the corner. Oh, there's the ref. The referee has emerged and he has the ball. So that's good. Three-pointer is off. Rebound Raiders. Hulky, he'll shoot that. He'll shoot that. Oh, another one. Hulky might be the most dangerous man on the court right now. Either team, either team. And then Fiesel says, maybe I am. Nope, it's off. Janicki the board. Nice awareness by Janicki to go in. Big rebound by Eustace. Eustace puts it up and in. 43 to 30 with 112 to go in this first half. Oh. Quas might have got away with one there, and Eustace puts it up and in. Oh, boy. 
before the shot, there's going to be a foul. Hulkey will inbound for the Raiders. Oh, and Janicki puts it in. Rebound, Chelstead, and Bulldogs probably going to go for the last shot here of the half. Ten seconds. Plenty of time for the Bulldogs here. Six, five, four, and a foul is called with three seconds to go. And boy, the Bulldogs... <laughs> Close to 50 for the half, which has been a rarity. Free throw plops in. Although Nicollet with 30, uh, not too shabby themselves, but it's going to take more than 60 points to win this one if they double their output from the first half. Second one's off. Three, two, one. Oh, it's off. And we head into halftime with the Bulldogs, 48, and the Nicollet Blue Raiders, 30. We got about 10 minutes till the second half. We'll see you in about nine. All right, we are back. Uh, two minutes and 10 seconds till second half action. Bulldogs with 48 first half points. Uh, quite a quite an output, but uh, it'll be tough to keep that up in the second half. Nicollet, though, I mean, to their credit, um, if they get streaky, they're not that far out of this one. I know it might look it's 18 points, but you know it's uh, it's feasible. Once again, the crowd tonight, um, quite small due to the, um, due to the, uh, the weather. I was talking to a former student of mine and his mother at halftime, and it sounds like the snow has not hit yet. So, so we'll, uh, we'll see what happens for tomorrow. I think uh, the pending weather uh, scared some folks off tonight. I shepherd, I shepherd. I coordinate the spelling bee. We got that tomorrow, so that's still up in the air. So uh, a lot of things can change before, uh, before tomorrow. I know the weather reports have been changing a little bit at KUYC, but. Yeah, it is. It's cool. Well, in a couple of years, you'll be on here, huh? There you go. All right, here we go. Fresh 18 on the clock. Second half about to begin. It will be Hulky inbounding for the Nicollet Blue Raiders. Almost dead center. And here we go. 
we go. Hulkey into Thompson. We're in our set. Back over to Hulkey. Can't leave. They, they quick double team on Hulkey, if you noticed. Obviously, that was talked about at halftime, that you can't leave Hulkey open. He's proven himself a threat. Yeah, right on him. They're not fooling around this time. Oh, nice put in there by Thompson. Nice drive. He kind of, uh, that's what Eustace does. He hooks the ball in and then goes, and that was a nice move. Tip ball. And yes, that'll count. And the foul as well. And the Bulldogs are the first to 50. And free throw is also in 51 to 32 our score. Not the start the Raiders wanted. Obviously, they got to win the win the second half by a pretty good margin to win the game. And it was tipped by a bulldog. It'll stay with the Raiders. Oh, that's going to be a push by Janicki. And they get it into Thompson. Oh, there he is again. It's Hulky. Oh, way off. Uh, maybe uh, he lost some of the luster maybe at halftime. Quast puts. Oh, it doesn't fall. It doesn't fall. There's the Hulky over to Thompson. Excuse me, that's not Thompson. That was Bodie. Janicki, full speed ahead, lays it in for two. Hook pass over to Hulky. Another all oh, telegraphed and Janicki the steal. Nice pass to Eustace. Oh, couldn't finish. Couldn't finish, and then Schulstead. Second effort puts in 55 to 32 our score. So it's a 7-2 start for the Bulldogs this half. Tipped out by Janicki. And Michael Fiesel will make an appearance here. Michael Fiesel, uh, Fiesel, number 23, a freshman coming in for Quast. Michael, the younger brother of Andrew, just recently uh, brought up to the varsity squad. Hulky for three. It's off, and uh, perhaps the Bulldogs have found the kryptonite for Hulky. Or I guess Kryptonite was for Superman. I don't know what the Incredible Hulk, uh, what his uh, his vice was, but oh, nice spin move by Eustace. Gannon out to Janicky. Janicky for three. It's off. Oh, that's yep. That's going to be a push by Chulstead. Burley for Gannon. And this past Saturday, the Bulldogs uh, beat the USC Rebels 71-57. to My parents, uh, who are watching tonight, uh, joined us live for that one. It's nice to have them here. And it's going to be a final foul by the Bulldogs, and that's the third one of the half. Traveling the call. Ah! 
Fizo puts it in for two. Two points for the freshman. Macias over to Thompson. Yes, it'll count. It'll count. Nice move there by Thompson. It's in. Fiesel to Eustace. Oh, Burley the fake over back to Eustace. Fiesel over to Janicki. Janicki. And Schulstead can't put it in. Michael Fiesel with the, the swat back. And Janicki draws the foul. Nothing but head for Janicki. And Levi Claybaugh coming in for the Bulldogs. Claybaugh making his first appearance. Claybaugh, a senior. One of the posts. It's off the iron. Travel by Hulky. Burley gets it in to Janicki. Macias cross court pass. Back to Macias. Hulky for three. And he's a zero for three this half. And that's going to be a foul on Claybaugh. Sixth team foul by the Bulldogs. One more. And the Raiders are in the bonus. Three-pointer is good for Thompson. Fiesel, the drive. Quast coming in in favor of Fiesel. So some nice playing time for the freshman. And uh, Levi Claybaugh puts it in for two. 60 to 38 Bulldogs. And a 
foul. And it's the bonus for the Raiders. Quast the rebound. Burley fakes over to Fiesel. Back to Janicki. Fiesel for three. He's not afraid to shoot those. It's off. Nice save by Quast. And Burley puts it up and it's off. Rebound Raiders. And that's Thompson heading the other way over to Hulkey. Back to Thompson. And draws the foul on Claybaugh. Number 12, Eric Fisher has come in for the first time for the Raiders. Fisher, a sophomore. Up and in for Thompson. And free throw is good. We're at multiples of 10, 40 to 60. And it's off. Big rebound by Eustace. And he'll head to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Foul was on Macias, his first. Free throw rattles in. 63-40, to 40, our score. Macias puts it, oh, and rattles off. And Eustace, nice move there, puts it up and in for two. 25-point lead for the Bulldogs. And possibly that momentum from Saturday carrying over. Of course, on Saturday, though, they had a 30-point lead, and it got down to 14 at the end. So, um, number 24, Kobe Weimert coming in for the Bulldogs. Weimert, a freshman. And Schulstead coming in as well. Schulstead, a senior. And for the Nicollet Raiders, number 32, John Manns coming in, a five foot nine freshman. So, some youth coming in for both squads here as Weimer takes the ball up the court. Over to Eustace, back to Weimer. Weimer fakes over to Eustace. Down low to Chelstead. Fiesel will shoot that, oh, he passes it up this time. Oh, that's gonna be a foul on the Raiders. Two shots. It's off the front iron. Second free throw is up and in. 66 to 40. And rebound for Selby. Selby puts it up, blocked by Schulstead. And Eustace 
reverse layup, and it's getting a little out of hand here for the Raiders. 68 to 40, our score. Stolen away by Quest. Oh, it bumps the ref. The action was so fast, the ref couldn't get out of the way fast enough. And Eustace <laughs> gave him a little bump there. Weimer gets it into Fiesel. Over to Janicki. Quast puts it up in. It's a 30-point game. And the Bulldogs have scored at least 10 straight here. Stolen away by Weimert. With numbers, fakes, and puts it up himself. It's off. And the second chances are also off. Timeout, Nicolet, with 8-12 to go in the second half. Modern, fresh paper goods. Of course, we're talking about Ginger P Designs. They got that brand new building that you have to check out. You can buy in store or online. Online at gingerpdesigns.com. The store, you know where to find it. It's that brand new building. It's kind of off. You know, when you're cutting off to Mankato, you can't miss it. It's got the big pink door on the front. Modern, fresh paper goods. We're talking birthdays. We're talking weddings. We're talking thank you cards. Any event, Ginger P Designs can help you out. They can meet your budget. If you're going high end, they can match it. If you're, if you're conserving some money, they can certainly help you out there as well. And not only do they have invitations and thank yous, they have calendars. They have planners. They have it all. You know, we're only, what, a couple weeks into this new year. Uh, it's not too late to get your 2017 planner or schedule. Of course, the only place to shop for that is Ginger P. Designs of Janesville. All right, Thompson gets it in for the Nicollet Raiders here. Tight defense by the Bulldogs. And Dustin Bowie, oh, it's a three-pointer. It's a long one. And good effort there by a couple of the Raiders. It was for not, though. And Weimer at the ball. Over to Janicki, freshman to senior. And Fiesel's in the game as well. Oh! And Fiesel over to Claybaugh. Claybaugh for two, and it's in. Claybaugh up to four points tonight. He's having a good game. Hulky, who's been uh, cold as ice this half. Obviously, the Bulldogs talked at halftime about what they were going to do to stop him. Thompson puts it in for two. Stops the run. With a little over seven to go. Janicki over to Fiesel. Fiesel fakes over to Claybaugh. Claybaugh fakes back to Fiesel. Tight defense. Foul by the Raiders. Subs coming in for the Raiders. And Fiesel calling the shots here. Clampy for three, it's off. Oh, good hustle there by Fiesel. Full speed ahead. Uh, but it is Raider basketball, and that's Hulky. Clampy has entered. It's all subs in for the Bulldogs. 
Claybaugh the board. And it's going to be a reach-in foul by Hulke with 6.22 to go. 72 to 42 our score. Bonus the rest of the way for both squads. Weimer at the line. First one is up. It's off the back iron. He will not get a second. Chattered in over to Hulke. That's Riley Hulke. His father, Chris, the coach. And Hulke draws the foul off of Claybaugh. And Hulke at the line for two. First free throw is up and in. The second one is off. Over to Fiesel. That's Andrew Fiesel. To his brother Michael. Michael for two. And it's off. Big rebound by Macias. Hulky heading the other way. Down the court pass to Chatterton. Chatterton double clutches and puts it in. 72-45 our score. At one point was a 32-point game down to 27. Traveling the call. And the Bulldogs showing some of their youth right now with some of these reserves. And the Bulldogs starters of, uh, of uh, possibly next year and in the future are in right now. But uh, they're playing against the real starters of Nicollet right now. And right now the Nicollet starters are getting a little bit of the upper hand. Oh, stolen away though by Claybaugh. Over to Weimert. Weimert to Fiesel, back to Weimert. Andrew Fiesel calling for something. And certainly a slowdown type uh, offense right now for the Bulldogs, not rushing in with that lead. Weimert fakes, back to Claybaugh. Clampy, that's an open look. Doesn't want to take it. Fiesel to Fiesel, down low to Claybaugh. And it drops, and it was well worth the wait as Claybaugh gets his sixth point of the game. 74 to 45, our score. Claybaugh heading to the line for the three point play. Heading to the line for one, excuse me. Yeah, heading to the line for one. Three point play here. Free throw is up, and it's in. 75 to 45. Claybaugh's up to seven points. And Sack and Bornicke will be coming in for the Bulldogs. Oh, and there's another alley oop layup by the Nicollet Raiders. They certainly have, uh, you know, once again, they only have one player over uh, the six foot threshold on their team. Might be. Well, they might have a couple six foot one, excuse me, but um, certainly got to be the shortest team in maybe all the state of Minnesota uh, for average height. Average height, probably about 5'10 on the team. Three pointer is up. It's off. Rebound, Clampy. Over to Weimert. Claybaugh back to Clampy. Clampy for three. It's off. And smart move by Fiesel not to hold on to that as Macias had uh, uh, possession of the rebound. Hands it off to Hulky. Clampy providing the defense. Hulky the drive. And he traveled, yep. Took a third step. And Kane Oliver coming in for the Bulldogs along with Bornicke and Sack. And Claybaugh, Fiesel, and who else is heading out? Weimert heading out as well. Claybaugh with seven points, probably his uh, best output to date. So uh, good game for Levi Claybaugh, the senior. Traveling the call. 
I do not see Isaac Schramm on the bench tonight. I'm not sure what the, uh, the story is there. And I see his parents in attendance, but Isaac is not on the bench. I'm not sure why. Hulky for three. Uh, kind of a topsy-turvy type shot there. And with a little over three to go, it is the Bulldogs with the possession. Oliver, it's an open look. Oh, boy. And that was, uh, that was not pretty. Kane Oliver, a great, great athlete. One of the most gifted athletes you'll find. Uh, but that free throw was not a good, or that three-pointer was not a good example of his athleticism. Ooh, a little bit of a push there by Borky. He's got to be careful. Weimert will come back in along with another freshman, Logan Miller. Logan Miller, when you talk about athletes, he might be the best of the bunch. Number 52, Logan Miller, the freshman coming in. And he's, uh, he's 240 of all muscle. So Oliver over to Weimert, to Miller, and might have been a foul there, not called. Oh! And uh, the Bulldogs have used that often where they, they throw it at the defender when they're falling out of bounds, and this time it was Thompson who did it to Bornicke. 2.16 to go. Uh... Ryan Kramer, the five foot eight sophomore, has come in for the Raiders. And Kramer hit a couple three pointers in that JV game, so we'll see what he can do at the varsity level. Ooh, tight defense there by John Mons. And it's off. Rebound Thompson. Yeah, that's a travel. Couldn't uh, the momentum was too much for him, he couldn't stop. 75 to 49, one minute, 50 seconds to go in this one. Weimert with the ball over to Oliver. Oh, should have put that up. Weimert fakes, sets, shoots, it's off. Bornicke, the big rebound. Foul. Clampy coming in in favor of Weimert. And it's off. Big rebound by Bornicke. Clampy hustles for it. And Miller puts it in for two. I'm not sure if that's his first varsity points or not, but it's the first I've seen at home. Miller, a freshman, but was a starting linebacker on our uh, football team. And very fast and in kind of that, that barrel chest. He's uh, as strong as an ox, no doubt about it. Quick as a cat and strong as an ox. That's a pretty good combination of things. Free throw is up. And Thompson connects. And Thompson gets the Raiders to 50. Second free throw is off. But, oh, nice save there by Thompson. He's not letting the scoreboard dictate his effort. Nice reverse layup that time by Bodie. 52 to 77 in favor of the JWP Bulldogs. 
Sack, fancy dribbling. Oliver back to Clampy. Sack to Logan. Uh, excuse me, Miller. Oh, nobody there. Stolen away. Three pointer is up and it's in for Thompson. Five, four, three, two, one, and that's our final. The JWP Bulldogs 77, the Nicklet Blue Raiders 55. Thanks again for joining us on this NFHS broadcast. Thursday night is seen, excuse me, Parents Night. Uh, come watch uh, as the JWP Bulldogs take on the Fairville Bethlehem Academy Cardinals. This has been Jay Summer with another NFHS broadcast. We'll see you next time.